Thank you for joining me for another episode of Here's Hope. Earlier this week, I woke up in the morning with the thought to read Psalm 121. And I know this psalm, I'm quite familiar with it. The very first verse is my grandparents' wedding verse. I have a plaque with that that was a wedding gift given to them. And it's mine now. It hangs in my office and just reminds me of the heritage I have with them. And in the traditional King James that I learned it in as a child, it says, um, I look up to the hills from where does my help come? And uh, so I kind of dismissed the thought. I didn't need to look it up. I already know what this verse says. But I'm so glad I paid attention to it because I felt like the Lord had some things to really say to me that are quite current uh, in a fresh way. And so I looked it up that morning later on in the Passion Translation because a fresh voice can help me see things in a new way. And I'm just going to share some of the thoughts I had uh, reading that that morning. So in the Passion Translation, it says, I look up to the mountains and hills longing for God's help. But then I realize our true help and protection come only from the Lord. I wonder what sort of mountains you've been looking to these days for a sense of security and hope. Some sort of reassurance about what's coming, what is to come. Some sort of directive that gives you a confidence of what the future is going to look like. If anything has happened for uh, all of us in this COVID uh, pandemic, epidemic, it's that things are so uncertain. And we can find ourselves looking to the government, looking to regulations, looking to healthcare services, hoping there's some sort of anchor there that we can count on that will make us feel safe and that we can look forward in the future. And I mean, those are great institutions and we were praying for leaders in those spheres, those mountains of influence. And yet, the best they have to offer is nothing like the anchor that God has for our souls. Our true help and protection come only from the Lord. Yes, he can use those things, but even when they fail us, God will never fail us. And says he's the creator, the Lord of the heavens and the earth. He will guide and guard me, never letting me stumble or fall. God is my keeper. He will never forget or ignore me. When I read that, I felt like this blanket kind of came over me of just comfort. He will not forget you. He will not ignore you. He senses your uncertainty at this time. He knows your longing for uh, stability and reassurance and calm, and he wants you to find it in him. He wants you to know he's, he's not abandoned you. Even though things around you are uncertain, he is certain. It says in verse 4, he will never slumber or sleep, for he is the God, guardian God for his people. He's always on duty. He's never not looking or not paying attention. It says in verse 5, Jehovah himself will watch over you. He's always at your side to shelter you safely in his presence. So right now where you are, think about it. And then even say it with me in a first person. Jehovah himself is watching over me. He's always at my side to shelter me safely in his presence. He's here right now beside you, sheltering you. He's guarding you. He's watching over you. He says he's protecting you from all danger, both day and night. He will keep you from every form of evil or calamity as he continually watches over you. This speaks to me that I can be undisturbed. Oh, there's calamity going on. There's trouble. There's unrest. There's disturbance everywhere. But my soul can be anchored into the safety of his presence that he is protecting me. This calamity doesn't have to disturb or distress me. It says you will be guarded by God himself. You will be safe when you leave your home and you will be safe when you return. He will protect you now and he will protect you forevermore. Can you say that in the first person? I am guarded by God himself. I will be safe when I leave my home. I will be safe when I return. He is protecting me now. He will protect me forevermore. I bless you in Jesus' name to experience a peace and a quietness and a confidence, even as you take your eyes off of the mountains of influence in which you hoped you could put your security. And then look up to your father 
your Heavenly Father and realize He's watching over you and He's protecting you. More than that, He's not far off. He's right beside you to shelter you, to protect you, both you and those you love and care deeply about. So I bless you right now to experience the shalom of heaven. I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.